Hi guys, thank you so much for watching Elimu TV. I am Patrick Mutakiwashira and this is the School Placement Program. Today I'm talking to Mr. John Gure, the manager of Harvard Institute. Karibu sana, Mr. John. Asante sana. Welcome to our show and good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is 2018. This is 2018. Uh -huh. What yeah. do you have for the students? 2018. It's a wonderful year uh -huh. that we can give students uh, goodies. Mm -hmm. Like example, come to Harvard, we'll give you a, a gift hamper. <laughs> Something to, to put you up in 2018 mm -hmm. and also advice. We also have a, 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 a counseling mm -hmm. for, for uh, we call it an education career counseling, mm -hmm. where we talk to students who do not know what exactly they want to do in, uh, in school mm -hmm. or they don't even have a career. Okay. So most of them actually choose art more mm -hmm. because that is what they like, mm -hmm. but that is not what they are supposed to be. Okay, yes. Mr. John, now let's get down to know your school more. Mm -hmm. And when was your school founded? Uh, Harvard Institute. Harvard Institute was founded in 2011 by the late Dr. Grace Ngure. Mm -hmm. Dr. Grace Ngure started the school as a, as a placement one for students who attain grades mm -hmm. and those that do not attain but do not get uh, funds to do it. So she started as, uh, the, the college to help students, those that, uh, that want get below the minimum qualification by the government that is number one number two those that are needy because they are currently there are people who who sponsor students at our campus we also started the school so that it can be of quality learning eh, for technical programs those that stu the students can do with their hands apart from the basic uh, white collar jobs we can do blue collar and we can do more technical jobs and those are the ones that are the driving force of this country Okay. Yes, that's great. So you started in 2010. Yes, you've been in business for seven years. We've been in business for seven years. So far, so good. What's yeah. the progress? What can you tell us? Uh, maybe how far has your students gone? Uh, no, Saba so Institute started with uh, around five students, mm -hmm. and currently we command a number of around 300 plus students. Mm -hmm. uh, it has gone from one department. It started over with computers and ECD. Mm -hmm. Right now, we have around eight departments, which are doing quite well. Mm -hmm. And the current staff of around 20 teachers, yes, including the permanent uh, non teaching staff. Okay, yes, and you are the manager, right? Yes, I am. Uh, maybe you can tell us um, what grades, or rather, which grades do you accept in your school? There are those students who score a straight A, mm. B, C, D. Uh, which grades do you accept in your institution? I would say all, all grades. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have a place for every student in our campus. Those that manage to get A's, B's and C plus are uh, able to do straight diplomas or higher diploma. Mm -hmm. All right. For those that didn't get that, that, that we especially uh, specialize with students who did not get uh, grades such as A's and B's. Mm -hmm. So those that do not meet uh, the minimum qualification for the university because it's obvious if you get the minimum qualification for the university you will get to go to the University, but if you did not get that, especially we would love to introduce you to Harvard Institute. We would love for you to come to Harvard Institute. Why? You can do the higher diploma, you can do certificate, you can do artisan level, proficiency levels. Those are the minimum. Uh, they are they like they they form your base work for you to get to a degree or a master's or a PhD. That is postgraduate degrees. They will get you there. Okay, yes. there are some schools which do offer bridging courses like um, maybe you hear that they, they bridge between uh, mathematics, chemistry, physics. Mm -hmm. Do you have such courses or? What? Oh, first I would uh, I would want to clarify bridging courses were, were banned by the Ministry of Education. Okay. okay. There is no bridging courses. There is there there are no uh, pre universities. Mm -hmm. The Ministry of Education does not want that, and that is what I believe should ha should happen. Why? Mm -hmm. Because when you do when you have a bridging course, that does not necessarily mean it has improved the student it means for them to not get a c there are very many variables that are involved for them not to get an a or a c plus one they can depend on the understanding capability of a student all right what they love most they are passionate they are their passion all right they are character because that is what we teach at harvard institute we learn as a student we want to know what is their character so that we can explain that character into a career okay? we expound that character into a career Example, if you find a student who loves socialism, so being uh, social, mm -hmm. all right, one who loves talking a lot, one who loves, uh, who, who, who loves uh, negotiations, you'll find that they will very easily fit in a human resource department. 
true. Why? Because their character already gives them what they love most. You love, you'll find that in business, you'll need somebody who is more social, true. who is talkative, mm -hmm. who can be easily, uh, who can easily manipulate the sentences that they have to mean a business venture mm -hmm. or an entrepreneurship agenda. Okay. Yes. Uh, again, we find that some schools, especially colleges, mm -hmm. do offer scholarships to their students, to those students who maybe not been able to raise the, mm. the required amount of fees. Yeah. Do you have such programs in your school? And if you don't, do you plan to introduce them? Yeah. Okay, first I started with, Dr. Grace started it as, uh, as a way of uh, helping students who do not attain, who attain the, the, the grades but do not have the capability of going to school. Yeah. So yes, we do have sponsorship for activities. As for all courses, for all courses and for all grades. Example, for those that are supposed to do diplomas, are supposed to have a C- and above. C- and above. Yes. For those that are supposed to do certificate, they are supposed to have a D and above. A D plus and above. All right. For those that are supposed to do a certificate, sorry, a certificate is supposed to have a D plate and above. That means a D and D plus. For diploma, you have to have a C minus and above. All right. For artisans, we get those that got D minuses and below. All right. So even the artisan, uh, the artisan group also picks those that did KC, KCP but did not manage to go to the college or uh, or high school they did not manage to, to do that so the artisan covers all that so that a student can progressively lift themselves up from artisan to certificate to diploma to degree masters and beyond so for to answer the question about uh, about uh, about uh, scholarships we have uh, major with a number of companies who are coming up as part of their corporate social responsibility, those that are in links with what we are and are in links with our values, our values and standards, all right? Because we are there to create a, 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 a people who are educated and who are skilled in the whole country, regionally, in the whole country, in all the uh, departments that we have to make sure that those students can be able to express themselves in the working environment, not, on, not only theoretically, but practically. So these companies come up and sponsor the students, either have the school fees, that is half sponsorship or full scholarship. It is through this full or uh, uh, partial scholarship that these students are able to achieve. And after those companies pick these students, for internship in the young companies. That way, these, these companies are able to make sure that they have the right practical skills. So at Harvard, the students do not just learn. They, get, they learn, get scholarships, and get employed. Okay. Yes. And in case you are joining us, I'm talking to Mr. John Gure, the manager Harvard Institute. And remember, we are on Facebook, Elimu TV, and our Twitter handle is Elimu underscore TV. Your Twitter handle and your Facebook page. Where can people find you? Uh, one, we have Instagram, mm -hmm. Harvard underscore mm -hmm. Institute. Mm -hmm. We have Facebook, that is Harvard Institute mm -hmm. of Development Studies. Mm -hmm. Twitter, Harvard Institute of Development Studies. Remind us the courses that you offer. Oh, we have uh, quite a number. Mm -hmm. We have we divide them into schools. We have the School of Engineering, which has electrical engineering, mm -hmm. both diploma, uh, uh, sorry, diploma, certificate, and artisan level. Mm -hmm. We also have wireman. Those are the graded uh, people who on, who did not act, who did not go to school, so they come and learn the practical part of it, so that they can be members of a company doing the handworks job. We also have the School of Business Studies, which ha has both the diploma certificate and artisan level in human resource, business management, sales and marketing, supply chain, uh, quite a number of them. Uh, we also have uh, uh, business finance. We have CPA, that is School of Business. We also have School of Development Studies, which has uh, community development. It has also social work. It has diploma certificate and proficiency in the early childhood development education. We also have a School of Languages, which teaches French, Chinese, uh, and we have German. All right. We also have School of Music, where we teach uh, guitar and piano. All right. 
those are the, some of the so, so, uh, most of the courses that we do offer. Okay. Yes. I understand that you are based in Thika Town, right? Mm. And my question is, there are, definitely do not have uh, hostels in town. Yes. Do you make arrangements for students to get accommodation? Now that's a very good question because most of the parents who come to our institute they do ask where our children are going to uh, our children are going to sleep. Definitely. So what we, what what we do we have contracted a number of companies. Uh, we do. Don't deal mostly with individuals who owns hostels. We deal with uh, some of the company because those the companies you can easily sue them. So these companies are the ones that hold the hostels, and one of the big things that we, we require from those hostels is uh, a good atmosphere for learning. We also ask for Wi-Fi because our students are going to to, to be having to do their assignments in, in in the places. We also look at the population of the place because if it is so densely populated, populated it means the students will not learn. It will be more of a of a game that's learning so we also look at uh, and quality of the food that they're going to be getting those are some of the things we out and around town you will find that there are hostels especially in in Thika, if you come there there is a there, there's a place called section two or section nine mm -hmm. in section nine there are there are very good places where a student can go it's it's accessible mm -hmm. it's a walking distance it's five minutes walk from the school mm -hmm. so the student can never get late all right mm -hmm. can never miss food mm -hmm. all right and can always be in town if needed, okay. even if classes were to change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You can maybe tell us more on the security feature of the hostels. Mm -hmm. Again, the morals, to, the, the, the morals of the students, because we understand that there are some students who go to campuses or mm -hmm. colleges, and uh, you take your innocent kid there mm -hmm. only for you to receive uh, uh, maybe uh, someone who engaged in drugs, who uh, um, maybe sleeps out. What are the security features as well as uh, maybe the moral of the students? Again, uh, we go back to the point that I made that uh, we contract companies. Mm -hmm. With these companies, what they do is that they, they give us uh, some of the qualifications for you to meet when you're going to those hostels. Usually, the, the, the hostels that are run by companies are quite competitive. They are, you, you cannot just find them. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So when you go to the to, to those hostels, they will they will have a number of rules and orders that you're supposed to follow. Example: you cannot come to that hostel from ten and above. Great. All right. You cannot go to that hostel when you're drunk. Of the hostel to help you in your religious activities. E.g., if you are a Muslim, they will take you on that part. They will give you a place to pray. If you are a Christian, there are those organizations that they do. Now. I go back to the far, to the point that I told you about companies owning hostels. You see, with, with the hostels that are owned by companies, it's easy for you to sue them. And they bring when they bring uh, other forms in our institute whose whose who, who's, whose whose uh, who's, whose forms have regulations and they do have rules and orders that are supposed to be followed. It also ha has the meals that the students are supposed to take on a daily basis. All right, that way we can be able to see what the hostel holds and what it has. Example, it is the, it is the responsibility of a hostel to make sure that uh, your religious activities are met. Example, they will give you a room if you are a Muslim for you to pray. For, for Christians, they will give you a space for you to do what? To pray. Uh, away from that, they have the rules and regulations. Example, those that are very intriguing that we really love. Eh? You cannot go to the hostel while you are drunk. Okay, mm -hmm. that one so that you, don't, you do not disturb the peace of the other students. You cannot go to the hostels beyond 10 p.m. If you do that twice, twice, you usually call the parents mm -hmm. and tell them your student. This is what happened to your student. This is why we are we are going to disqualify him or her from this hostel for them to meet this criteria and for you to continue paying without any problem. They need to meet these standards. Right? Such standards and regulations are the ones that keep the students in check. All right. Again, when they come to, to, to the school, we have counseling centers. We will realize the character of a student as they grow, as they pick up. All right? mm -hmm. Because some of them had so, were so confined in their homes, once they tasted the, 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 the sweet fruits of freedom, mm -hmm. they will try to as much as explode. All right? 
so it is we, we usually have counseling uh, time all right talks on behavior those that can, we, we do our best to make sure that these students learn the values right again it becomes the responsibility of the school and the parent we work as a team to make sure that that student has achieved the goal that they had set all right so we cannot say that uh, students do not uh, go out we cannot say that students will not drink we can but when we work as a team the parent the school and the lecturers we will get the best out of that student interesting yes that's good mr john mm -hmm. maybe you can tell us about the transport do you arrange for transport for the students but they are believe i believe there are some of them probably do not reside in the hostels that you give them yes but they come from home and especially maybe estates like Juja, Kiganjo, Makalem, which is a little bit far from town. Mm. But do you make arrangements for the school for the students to be in school, maybe on time? Okay, that, that's a very interesting question because uh, with this age, and let me say this to the parents, mm -hmm. usually with this age, it's very difficult for you to do that. Why? Because we as yes, we do have a bus, but we have realized the students do not want to be carried by the bus. Why? Because every other time we go to pick them, they are never at the stage because they want to be given fair by the <laughs> okay. still, yeah, by the by the parent so you would find out that uh, yes we want to give them but the students are not willing mm -hmm. in the first month they will be very active in the second month actually they will repel against okay so we, what we do is that we require them to write down if you want to be carried to be carried in the morning can you write down if they meet that threshold of the period uh, of the or the of the of minimum number of students for you to carry them it is economical and good to carry them if if not we encourage them to come every morning again the reason why not every morning they are carried it's because you'll find out that some of the classes will run from eight to four so if a student has a class at ten will they come at eight no no unless if they want to go to the library and do what and read and in, a, in Harvard, we are technologically doing well. Why? Because we have an online library. They don't have to come to class for them to, at their, comf at their comfort at home, they can go through their tablet, they can go through their computer, join the website, get to the library, apply the common knowledge. Now, let me get this right. You mentioned about online. Huh? Mm. Uh, do you have uh, a setup for library where they go and access Wi Fi or internet? Mm. At Harvard University, yes, we have Wi-Fi. You cannot do without Wi-Fi at this age. <laughs> you cannot do it without Wi-Fi at this age. Yes, we do have Wi-Fi. But the website, our website, when you get to our website and you're a student, you just key in your registration number and the pin that you will get from your registration number that is uh, that it appends itself every other time, okay? So that not everyone can access it. And then they can access the library. Ah, yes, the library services, they can download the books. So even if you are a publisher and you want your books to be sold and you want your papers to be seen, you can bring them over to Harvard. We will get them, get them online. Students can use them and that is the way we also do marketing for publishers as well for us. Yeah. Okay, good. Interesting. Now, Mr. John, mm -hmm. I'm interested to know this eh? because uh, some institutions, they do have a problem in, uh, in uh, assisting students to go to internship. Yes. And, um, in this day and age, some companies um, prefer to get students from institutions, yeah. various institutions. So, do you assist your students to get attachments? Uh, I remember I had, uh, we, we talked about uh, sponsorship from yeah. companies. Yeah. What, what companies actually are doing, they are not even, uh, we are not even going to look for them. Mm -hmm. I, don't, uh, I, I believe it's the quality of, of studies that we are giving them. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who are encouraging us to give them students like uh, last uh, we we deal with terms not uh, sessions or semester uh, semesters because they do three months three months three months every other time uh, and it is a lie for people to say a semester is three months it's supposed to be all the time uh, we give them we uh, the companies come at every interval after every three months you'll find that they have written letters to us can you give us students for us to employ them it is part of our negotiations with them that they sponsor students, we give them students, and then they can train them practically what they have learned theoretically. 
So companies come for you to give? Yes. For students? Yes. Ah, they come for, to our institute for students. Interesting. Yeah. Remember you are watching Elimi TV and Patrick Mbaka Kiwashi on Facebook. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. Facebook we are fa El at Elimu TV and Twitter we are at Elimu underscore TV. Your Twitter handle as well as your contacts. We are Harvard Institute of Development Studies on Facebook. We are Handa, ha Harvard, sorry, Harvard underscore uh, Institute at Instagram. Harvard Institute are uh, in Twitter. Uh, yes. let, let's oh, and 0709 get that get us on WhatsApp. Let's converse. Uh, moving on, yes. tell us more about the co culture activities that you offer the students music, drama, mm. football, games, uh, talents. Do you exploit them? Do you assist them to realize uh, their talents? Well, first, uh, I'll start with what is loved most in our institute uh, it's salsa. Mm -hmm. Salsa training is free. Mm -hmm. And it, it usually happens on every Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, and Friday. All right, repeat that because I want to join. <laughs> <laughs> it's free, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll also find me in the same class, as big as I am. <laughs> uh, salsa is very beautiful. It's a it's a, an expression of dancing that is very nice, and like uh, where you dance without uh, without course, salsa gives you course. So it is free of charge. That those are that is one of the core curricular activities that is beautiful and most loved in by oh, by the ladies and gentlemen. Eh? <laughs> but the ladies more, uh, they love they, they love it. Uh, we also have uh, we have uh, a, a, an agreement with uh, with some primary schools where we have uh, games played at their turf where they where they have the turf for it. If they have a turf for for foot for football. We use theirs. If the the other one has a tough for basketball, we are using the players. All right. So it has to. We, we also have to have co-curricular activities because it is part of the learning process of a student. Example: If you are doing a ECD, practicals are are are, are compulsory for you. So we do have co-curricular activities. We do have photo shoots that students usually every end of the month on every Friday we give a student uh, uh, that piece to wear anything that you wish, so that we do a, a, a photo shoot for it. And if if they turn out well, we get it to the Facebook page. Yes, ah, that's interesting. Now, uh, the cabinet secretary for. Uh, Education mm -hmm. and the education uh, ministry here in the country mm -hmm. just changed the, uh, the system mm -hmm. uh, from 844 system to now the new system. Yeah, the uh, two, six, yes, two. yes, <laughs> and they're not giving it three, that two. Yeah? Yeah. So, what, what preparations do you have with regards to the students, especially those who might be taking PCD? Right. And what uh, are you prepared? Are you happy now the system that has changed from the 844 to now the new system, mm -hmm. or what are your comments? Oh, we'll start with long live Matiangi, <laughs> because he has quite changed a lot for in our education industry. One, he has uh, he has made sure he has gone back into the to, to the boots of education. Why he he has put the tertiary education system in order, where we have when you get out of high school, right? We have uh, colleges and we have degrees doing what they are supposed to be doing yes. example i remember he, he said that universities are not supposed to offer diploma and certificates they should be offered that why is so that different when you have a company that is concentrating well example i use uh, chris kirobi right sure. he's a good man. uh his companies he's one man but all his companies are concentrated on one thing. So you will find they are excelling at it. It's the same with colleges. Right? When one institute when institutes are doing what they do best, assuming high schools who are offering diploma and certificates, would it run well? So that way he's he's streamlining the education system that we have. And him changing the education system that we have, what he is doing, he's putting more practical part, the practical part of education into place. Before we only had the theoretical part doing much. That's why we had half-baked students where you go to work, 
and you cannot find a, a place at it why because the workplace has to start again to train in you on what you're supposed to do why because you only did it theoretically and not practically so what matiangi is doing is to make sure that we as institutes are doing more theory and also a lot of working practicals you will find out that students now will do more internships than before what will that do it will bring the students into maturity at their place of work if you are employed assuming to do media if you're employed to do business management it's at your fingertips why because the learning skills were imparted to you way before than later yes. so to me he has done quite a good thing and we are also doing uh, uh, we are also learning it because under tiveta we, we are under tiveta there are, lo there are those rules and regulations that are always put in place we follow them to the letter if they need those students and that's why harvard institute has been there for quite a some time because seven years is not at all i know True. some people have been there for longer years but for you to to be there for seven years and doing well it means you are following the rules and orders and you are registered by the ministry of education the ministry of education gives you their permit when you're following the rules or orders I understand we have examination bodies like NEC, ICA, mm. APMA. Which exam bodies are in your institution? Well, uh, the truth is, I love NEC, Kenya National Examination Council, because that is what we major in. Why we major in Kenya National Examination Council is because one, it's an act of parliament, meaning that uh, the government has to invest into it for it to have quality education. So, personally, I love. Kenya National Examination Council and Council. So going back to Harvard Institute, we we have NEC, we have ICM, we have ABE, we have CTMP. Those that we practice now, that we we are encouraging students to do are ICM for hotel and catering, but the rest of the courses we deal with NEC. We deal with NEC. We deal with NEC. The reason why we don't uh, deal with the, uh, hotel and catering with, with NEC is because of the period. The period for learning, yeah, NEC is quite, quite, uh, quite big, but the same, same curricular activities are found in ICA. But with, with others, business management, human resource, ECD, the rest is NEC. Okay. And again, if you have a certificate with NEC, it's quality. It's quality. It is quality. Okay, pretty good. So tell us how parents or students can get you mm -hmm. and uh, your contact. Mm -hmm. Are you on social media? How yeah. active are you? Mm -hmm. Please give us uh, the handles to use. All right. Now, parents, welcome to Harvard Institute. It's a great choice for you to be to be at Harvard Institute. We will nature your student, your student or child, or that that you're sponsoring into a mature. Uh, person in their business field or their field of study that they wish to take. If you wish to find us, you'll find us in Thika, Victory Plaza, opposite the original Mathai supermarket on the fifth floor. If you wish to get us via our phone, it's 0709-750-350. Once again, 0709-750-350 or 0737-636-498. 0737-636-498. If you're on Facebook, which you should be, everyone, it's Harvard Institute of Development Studies. That is our page. Like, you can get it. If you are in Instagram, it's Harvard underscore Institute. Welcome to Harvard Institute. Uh, just before I let you go, yes, kindly yes. give us, uh, rather, advice the parents and the students who are looking for school. What All should right. they go for? All right. One, to the parents, this one is strictly to the parents. Do not choose a course for your student. Why if you choose a course for this? Actually, it's supposed to be criminal. You are in you are investing yourself into them instead of themselves into their career. So let them choose what they want to do. That is number one. Number two, they can get advice from you on what are the courses to take. How do you do that? We have there is a book written by Dr. Grace Gure that is called Career Discovery Series. It talks about the characters of a student, what they are supposed to expect 
with themselves and what they are supposed to achieve with their career. That way, the student will be able to achieve a lot. They will know what they are supposed to do and where to place themselves in life. In life. While you're going to look for a college, make sure it is government registered. How do you do that? Go to the Tiveta website. You can go to Google Tiveta website. You will go to a place called Accredited Institutions. You will find all the institutions there so that while, while you go to school and finish, you will not be redundant. Your certificates will be active. All right? They will be good. Cindy, usiende kwa shule ambao ukimaliza, the certificates are just worthless. Let them be worthful. Now, that's the reason why we are inviting you to our school. All right? When you come to our school, one, you'll find counseling center for career. All right? Number two, we are government registered. And number three, we are a school that completely centered on career excellence. All right? Yes. Thank you so much. That is Mr. John from Harvard Institute, located in Dikaya. I am Patrick Mudekwa Shira, Fiders on Facebook, Elimu TV, and Twitter. We are at Elimu underscore TV. See you next time.